Good morning everyone, we've got something absolutely insane. We've got a few secrets that dropped on Lightroom and allow me to edit those photos that would take me a few minutes in just seconds. Now it's not the presets, it actually edits that I would do locally that would take a lot of time and in just a few seconds, boom, we can do it. Almost don't need Photoshop anymore. I wanna share with you all that. If you're ready, let's get started. All right, all right, all right, let's get right into it. I've got a few photos for you. We've got our friend Jason Vong in the forest in Hawaii. We've got me, myself, on top of a roof in New York City, and also with the Milky Way, enjoying the Milky Way. So Lightroom released an update, and with that update, it allows you to do things so much faster. So for example, that photo that I edited prior took me a bunch of brushing and like doing a bunch of things. Uh, it's not super long, but now it got so much quicker and that update works on Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, which is amazing. What am I talking about? Well, let's edit that photo. I'm just gonna pump up one of the presets right there. I'm gonna use Bryce 01 because I really like the contrast. That's one of the 2021 preset pack. Definitely one of my favorite uh, preset, the Bryce 01 and 03, which has a little bit more lifted tones. Link in the description if you're interested, but this video is not about presets. It is about something here. What do I do usually when I edit my photos? I apply the presets and then I do a few local adjustments. For what? To bring myself out, to bring my subject better in the photo, right? So now instead of having to brush and try to hope the brush gets it right, but sometimes you go a little over or whatever. Now, instead of doing that, I can simply press select subject and it's completely new and works differently. So it automatically detects or subject and you can see it right there. It's highlighted and instead of having all the brushes that you would see here on the screen, now you actually have that little panel that shows you the different mask that it's creating. And you can create a different one to select just the sky, for example, right? And now just the sky is collected, but you can see it's not perfect. We've got a few buildings, but they're in the same tones. That's okay for now. We actually don't need that one. We'll use it in the next photo. So for that one, what do I wanna do on that image? I wanna bring myself up a little bit more in terms of shadows and I'm gonna lift those. Bring down the blacks a little bit. Why? Because I want, don't want to make my pants too visible right there. You see, if they come out too much, we're going to have darkness here. But here it's going to be light. It's going to look a little strange. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm bringing up the light a little bit. Drop down my blacks. Can increase a little bit of texture if I want to pop even more. Let's put it to 100 and clarity to 100 and dehaze to... No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Everything in moderation, okay? So a little bit of texture and tiny bit of clarity, like one. And we could add a little bit of exposure, 0.1, and voila. In two seconds, I went from this to this and it looks good. I'm excited about it. If you're wondering why there is banding, it's because it was a TIFF that was edited and hopefully I can re-import the raw later and get higher quality. So same process here, going from this to this, but I wanna show you on a night sky photo. So I had a few and I couldn't decide which one. Maybe you can let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer this one? Do you prefer this one? or this one, t-shirt sitting or standing. We're gonna go with that one with a t-shirt for now. When you edit night photos, you wanna bring out that beautiful sky, right? It's the same in the cities. You wanna bring out colors in the sky if you're at sunset. Well, here we've got a Milky Way and we've got those three. We don't wanna bring them out too bright because then they're gonna overpower the photo. So first things first is I'm going to save time and use one of my star astro preset, uh, which is actually built to help bring out stars. It dials in the tones and the white balance that I use for stars, okay? Which is usually very different from, for example, a sunset or a sunrise or a city shot. We have a good basis. If we look at before, after already, maybe our highlights weren't a little cuckoo here, but that's okay. We can bring them down and we can do some local adjustments. You'll see. Because with those tools, right, select sky, one second and we've got our night sky. Apparently it's missing a few points and that's where we will do our work. So I'm gonna increase the highlights in my sky. I'm gonna drop down the shadows a little bit to make it a little darker. I'm going to increase the clarity also to bring out the points and I will increase a little bit 
my exposure, but not too much. And I want to add a little bit of contrast. My reasoning around this and the haze, we can drop it a little bit, but I don't like to play with it too much because then it changes things and black a little bit down. That way you can see before, after and before the mask and after the mask. I feel like those stars are popping a lot more and what I'm going to do also is going to reduce a little bit the noise in that sky but not too much. So here we go. Well, sky looks good and now I'm just gonna select my subject second. So create new mask, select subject and here I can reduce a little bit the highlights on my arms. Boom and on the t-shirt and in literally just a few seconds I went from this photo that was okay to this one, which looks a lot better, a lot brighter. I'm even gonna increase the exposure a little bit more. And if you're wondering what happened on the left, we didn't take that part of the sky. Well, we could intersect the mask with what it's called a brush, which means we're gonna add or subtract, right? We're gonna add a new brush, brush, here we go. And I'm gonna come and brush here in those little parts with the sky so it pops a little more. And then you can press O to show the overlay. And suddenly, look at that. We've got little pieces of overlay here. So the select sky is not 100% perfect with trees and stuff, but it's damn good and it's damn fast because before I would use those gradient filters, which were great, but in that case, I uh, would have had to use gradient and brush tool. So you can intersect those before, after, super happy, love that photo, ready to share it on Instagram. Okay, so for Jason, we're gonna go with very earthy tones. We're gonna use Papeno, which you see really darkens or greens right there. I'm gonna increase a little bit my exposure. I'm gonna fix my white balance, which is way too cool in my opinion. Here we go, we're gonna go something like that. His skin looks good, a little glowy. Jason, you're looking good. And next, what do we do? Here we go again, select subject. Our subject is being selected. I'm gonna bring out a little bit the shadows, bring a little bit the exposure. And I kind of wonder if we can just invert that mask. And now, instead of selecting him, we can make everything darker but our subject. Did you know that trick? Look at that, guys. Boom, in two seconds, we've got something that looks a lot more appealing, right? It centers on your subject. It looks good. Look at this. I mean, it took two clicks. We got our photo from here to here. And I have even another version that I'd made earlier that went from this to this. So you see different tones depending on your mood, on what you want to share. But let me know if you've tried that new feature. How do you like it? And most importantly, what is your favorite hack out there? Oh, and those cool edits remind me of something. Are you part of the top five emails? The free email that I send twice a month with tips, gear, inspiration, really cool things I've been thinking about or discovering and things that are also outside of photography a little bit into my world. Well, make sure you sign up. It's pftlambert.com forward slash top five. People love it. I think you will love it too. So join. There's a lot of resources coming up your way and inspiration for your weekends. Now remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. I'll see you in the next one.